guys. Good morning, good morning. It's Allison with Upright and Caffeinated. And we're doing a couple projects this morning. We are gonna work on the gloss etching yet again because I think I figured out why it's not turning out absolutely perfectly. Um, it still looks good, but it's, it could be better. So we're gonna work on that this morning. We're gonna do another project while that etch kind of sits for the five minutes it needs to sit. If you're joining me live, please say hi so that I know you're here. I was just gonna check on my phone, but I don't have a phone out here, so I can't check to make sure I'm live. So if you're live, say hi so that I know it's working. All right, so let's start with the, the glass etch, okay? So good morning, Sharon. Okay, so we're gonna start with the glass etching cream, and this is just this armor etch stuff that I got from um, Michael's, used a coupon. Uh, so I'm just, it says to shake it up, so I'm going to shake it up. So what I was doing before was I was taking like a Q-tip or a stir stick and, and laying it on because you're supposed to put a thick layer. But I think what I really need to do is squeegee it on, get it really deep into that silk screen, and then maybe layer a little on on top. Good morning, Mom. Good morning, Michelle. Good morning, you guys. Okay, so I think that's what we need to do is we need to actually squeegee it on. So I'm going to take... I'm going to use my, my stir stick here just to kind of layer it in, okay, kind of like that. But then I'm going to take my squeegee and I'm going to squeegee it in, okay? And I'm being real careful not to get it on those little targets. Uh, okay. So I'm, this way it's getting really deep into that silk screen. Okay, now I can kind of plop it on the top and kind of let it sit, okay? Mm, looks messy, but I think, I think that's going to be better. Oh, okay, so let's try it here. So this is, um, if you can't see this yet, it says Ike, and he's going to start barking because I'm talking about him. The dog's T R E A T container, and I'm saying it like that because he's sitting right there. And if he hears me say that word, he's going to start whining. So, this is his container, and I'm putting his name on it because I thought that would be a fun little easy project that we could do with this. Okay, so again, I'm doing basically what I was doing before, except now I'm squeegeeing. The etching cream into it just to make sure it gets deep into that silk screen because I think that's where I was going wrong last time is I wasn't squeegeeing it I was just laying it on top okay now these letters have the little targets at the top and the bottom if you're worried about getting etching cream into that or if you're working with ink and you're worried about getting ink into that um, take some uh, painters tape and just cover up those little targets so like anything you don't want etched or if you wanted to make a border around this you could do that too okay so that looks good ish we'll see i'm gonna throw these into my little i have a little plastic tub right here i'm just gonna throw these things into my little plastic tub we're gonna let this sit Okay. All right. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> All right. So people are commenting. So I'm definitely live. Good, 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 good. Okay. So we're going to let this sit over here. So the other thing that I wanted to do, since we've got to let this sit for a couple of minutes, um, is I'm going to do, ooh, I'm going to do a St. Patrick's Day project. And the reason is because we got the retiring list. Items that are retiring came out last night. I have yet to go through the whole thing and, and make a graphic and all that kind of stuff, but I did take a glance at it. Rainforest is retiring, and I'm bummed because I really love this color. So I thought, well, let's use all of my greens, and we're going to do a little St. Patrick's Day thing. The other thing that's retiring that I was shocked to see is uh, the Shimmer Red Paste. So if you loved the Shimmer Red Paste, you know, it was great for Christmas. It's great for Valentine's because I've used it for Valentine's. It would be really awesome for Fourth of July um, because if you have, like, the vintage truck with a summer add-on, it comes with fireworks. You do fireworks and red shimmer. That's amazing. Um, so if you want that red shimmer, you need to grab it because it is retiring. So what, we, what they're doing is they're getting rid of a ton of products before the new catalog comes out. 
So um, if it retires, it's gone, it's gone forever. You don't get another chance to get it. So mm. again, I'm working on getting that list out today. So you guys can see everything that's on that list. Um, it's mostly transfers and just a handful of um, pastes. But if there's anything, whether it's a transfer or paste, if there's anything that you want on there, um, grab it before it's gone forever. So Rainforest is on that list. It's going away. I'm going to fuzz this transfer in my lap. I've used this one time. That's it. I, um, I made my sister-in-law Heidi a sign with this. And that is the only time I've ever used this transfer. And this is an old retired transfer too. So since we're talking retired stuff, this is a retired transfer. They, they have not had this for sale in a really long time. I think I got this the first couple months I was, I became a designer. And it's a little St. Patrick's Day. And actually, I don't think I've seen any other St. Patrick's Day. So it says, who needs luck when you've got this much charm? How cute is that? All right, so here's what we're going to do with these. Where's my water? I do. Okay. I think I'm going to need a little water because I haven't used these green pastes since Christmas. They might be a little bit dried out. All right. So there is the rainforest. It's super dark. I love it. Is this a new transfer? No, Sharon, this is super old. It's retired. This is a super old retired transfer. And so I figured since we're talking retiring products, things that are retiring, I'm going to show you guys a retired transfer. <laughs> um, I wish they would come out with some St. Patrick's Day stuff. They do have a lot of Irish stuff coming out. They have a Celtic cross or maybe two Celtic crosses. And then they have the Irish blessing, the may the road, road rise to meet you. I don't know. Mom, I'm sorry. I don't know that by heart. Um, but they have that Irish blessing um, that's really cute. And then they have at least one Celtic cross, if not more than one. Um, so there are some Irish things, just not St. Patrick's Day. It's just more Irish. Um, which I know my, my Irish mother much prefers the uh, Celtic designs versus the silly St. Patrick's Day stuff like this. <laughs> so uh, let me just stir these up. So we're going to use, okay, so beyond the rainforest, we are also using meadow, sage, and pesto. So those are the four greens that I'm going to use on this. All righty. So um, what? Shimmer red? No, I know. I can't believe the retiring shimmer red. They need to get more St. Patrick's Day. I, you know what, Sharon? I agree. I, th they did not come out with a single new St. Patrick's Day transfer last year. Like I said, this is like two years old because um, this was not available last year either. Um, they, they do need St. Patrick's Day. But I am glad they're coming out with some Irish things because it is nice. And the Irish blessing one is actually really pretty. Um, sorry, I just had some dried paste kind of fall off in there. The Irish Blessing one is very, very pretty. But if you think you want a dark green with the Irish Blessing, grab the rainforest paste now because you won't be able to get it. All right, so we're gonna do that like messy, swirly look with this with all my greens. You ready? So here's rainforest first. Then let's move on to pesto. I, I get pesto and sage confused. Then let's drop some meadow in there and here's the sage i probably need something down there okay you ready so we're just going to kind of i'm just going to kind of dip so i've got kind of all the colors on there and we're going to squirrel swirl squirrel and we're making a mess and it's going to look beautiful. It's going to look like a beautiful mess once we're finished. And this is not going back into any jars because it has four different paste colors on here. So it can just go right into my water bath. And actually, that was a whole lot of paste that was on there. All right. 
So I'm just going to squeegee off some of this excess here because there's quite a bit. And that's it. How cute. Who needs luck when you have this much charm? It's hard for you guys to see all the different colors. It just probably all looks one color green, but there's all different, all different colors of greens in there. So doesn't that look fun? All right, so I think you think it's been about five minutes. Can we check our etch? So let me just put these pastes away. And then we will check our etching cream. And then we will see if that worked today. Okay, so I'm going to check comments one more time. Let's see. Okay. You embroidered that blessing. Of course you did. <laughs> Hi, Christy. Okay. Let's see. Highland and Irish linen, and it was beautiful. Green plaid antique truck with pots of gold in the back. Oh, chalk dreams. I love that. I love that. So in the spring add-on, there's shamrocks in the back of the truck. Not pots of gold. They should have pots of gold, but they have shamrocks. Um, I'm glad you pronounced Celtic properly. Really? Really? Are you surprised? My mother's maiden name is Dunleavy. She's very Irish. Of course I did. Uh, oh, this surface is great, Sharon. This is that, um, what, what is this called? Odette. This is the Odette board. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Uh, it's the perfect white background because it has the, uh, the black border. And then this also has the, um, the little alligator hooks. You can do it vertically or horizontally. I love it. This is a great surface. And it washes really, really well because I only have one of these. And I've used this so many times, and I, I wipe everything off. It doesn't stain the white. It's that nice, like, boutique surface that Chalk Couture makes. And um, the chalks, even if they're, like, highly pigmented, it's not going to stain it. I love it, love it, love it. Okay, so let's move that to the side. Okay, and let's bring our etch, our little etched thing back over. Let me do this. Let me grab my little plastic tub and my water which is over here oh and my gloves I forgot my gloves hang on one sec my gloves are over here oh, I grab my water grab my gloves okay hold on one sec here are my gloves and I'm using just these like you know, cleaning gloves, like these rubber cleaning gloves. Okay, so hopefully this worked a little bit better because we squeegeed it in. Okay, let's try this. So I'm gonna pour some water, I'm gonna peel the transfer, and then I'm gonna continue to pour water and then I'll wipe it off with a baby wipe and we'll see if that works. Okay. Ooh, sorry. All right. So far, so good. So far, this is looking much better than um, the previous times we've tried this. Okay. It's a little hard to get these transfers off with these bulky gloves. <laughs> All right. So immediately, I can tell a difference um, where, like, you can definitely tell a difference that it, it works better when you squeegee it. Now it's getting lighter as I'm pouring the water because the cream is still on there. Okay. I think I'm going to grab, it's got green paste all over it. Hang on, let me grab another big wipe and we'll just kind of wipe this off. Okay. Now we'll more water on it. Yeah, that looks much better. Big time difference. Okay, so that's the trick. So definitely squeegee in through the silk screen. 
squeegee into the silt train. And then you can see it. Okay, so you guys probably can't see it really well because of, um, well, a couple things. One, it's glass and there's nothing in the glass. But two, because of this background, this, um, this mat, ooh, makes things uh, difficult to see, I think. I think it's really difficult to see through because of the grid on this. So let me try this. I'm gonna take these gloves off. And let me grab this. Okay. Now let's see if I've got a solid color background, if you guys can see better. Does that help a little bit? Maybe not. So there's I, K, and E. And it's still wet, so it might be a little bit difficult. But once I have his T-R-E-A-T-S's in here, you'll be able to see it really well because they're dark brown. So once I fill this up, I'll take a picture so you guys can see. Isn't that cute? So much, much, much better. Like that makes such a difference. So the trick again, squeegee your, your etching cream, squeegee it into the silk cream, and then kind of leave a, a, a thick layer of the etching cream on, leave it for five minutes, and then wipe it off, and it, it looks great. And actually, as it's drying, it almost looks like it's darkening just a, just a little bit. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. I can't wait to see it once it's completely dried. So... If anybody has any questions, leave them below. But like I said, I just wanted to do, I wanted to show you the etch because I figured I was doing it wrong. And then I wanted to show you guys something with one of the retired colors. So we did the, um, so we did this in all of the greens, but I did use that rainforest that is going to go away. So like I said, I'll leave you guys the list. I'll, I'll post it. Um, I'll post it uh, later today for sure. Good morning, Glenda. Can I put the dark mat into the jar? Maybe. Let's try that. Let's see if that'll, if I can shove it down in there. Does that help? Yeah, not really. And that, that has like a weave in it, so it's kind of hard to see too. Yeah, I don't know that that's, you can tell a big difference. Maybe if I put this in here, maybe the, let's try this. Does that make a difference? No, you can't see that at all because the glare. So it, it definitely looks, oh, actually that's kind of a good shot of it. Can you see how dark that looks? Okay, I'll take a picture so you guys can see it. But it looks really good. It does, it does. It looks really good this time. <laughs> we finally got it right. Uh, can we order a new catalog? So, turns out, I'm gonna get a stack of catalogs. So um, make sure all of, if you are in the Club Couture, I will send you one. Um, and if you are a customer of mine and you want a catalog, just leave me, send me a message or leave me a comment and I'll get a catalog out to you. But I am getting a stack of catalogs a little bit early, so um, I will absolutely send you one. Um, the, uh, the catalogs go live, like you can order all the stuff in the catalogs starting February 3rd. But between now and February 3rd, they're letting us know all the things that are retiring that are in this catalog that are going to go away. So um, over the next few weeks, I will let you guys know of everything that is going to be retiring, such as the rainforest <laughs> paste and the, uh, and the shimmer red and all the transfers. Like I said, there's a whole bunch of transfers that were on this list. Um, and like, like I said, I will go through it. I will put it in a graphic. Um, I have a quick doctor's appointment this morning. So as soon as I get back from the doctor, I will, um, I will try to work on that if I, if I can find some time today. So um, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Have a great weekend. I will not see you on Monday because Monday is a holiday, which means my children are not in school, which means I cannot go live unless I get up super early before they get up. 
um, which is an option. I might, if, if they sleep in and I get up early, um, maybe I'll pop in early, early Monday morning. But if not, I will definitely see you guys on Tuesday. So I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. Leave me questions if you have them. And like I said, I will, um, as this is drying, it's definitely getting darker. So I will take a really good picture of this so that you guys can see it. Um, and I'll post it back in the comments so you guys can see. All right. Have a great day.